So welcome back to the channel everybody and this is a quick video on how to protect your van van from when you go off-road. Um, I'm hoping to make some videos with this little bike off-road and in the dirt. Um, so before I do that I really want to protect the front end of the engine here and the radiator and the front of the bike um, with a skid plate or a bash plate or whatever you want to call it um, a big metal plate so I've gone back to my friends at T-Rex Racing and ordered myself one of these round of applause small drum roll this is the uh, the T-Rex Suzuki Van Van heavy duty steel plate look at that beautiful little uh, T-Rex Racing riveted plate on that this is uh, very heavy duty steel um, and this is how it comes so you get a the, the bash plate set of instructions um, and heavy duty bracket and literally three bolts that is it it's supposedly all I'm gonna need to put this on my van van to give it some underside protection before I take it off-road so with that in mind I've got a ratchet set and I've got my Allen keys. So, fingers crossed it'll be super easy. Very quick little video, show you how to put this on and uh, give your van van some off-road protection. So, thanks again everybody for watching. Here we go. All right, so looking at the underside of the bike here, what you have to do is undo this bolt here. And we're gonna be reusing that bolt, but that is where the uh, this bracket will go where this bolt is and it's going to go on like so with the bolt going straight through so this will be facing forward like that and your front of the uh, bash plate skid pan will thread into the uh, pre-drilled uh, it's threaded this little hole where my thumb is um, and then the underside connection is utilizing these two holes which are already on tabs for the subframe of the bike so we've got a tab here with a hole in it and a tab here with a hole in it and if I hold this up this lines up perfectly on the outside of those holes like so so that's where we're gonna add our bolts there just like just like that in there this plate is absolutely designed to work with the crash bars you don't have to take them off uh, you can put this over the top in fact it's designed to go over the top and protect this whole front area which I love so I think it was 120 bucks something like that uh, with free shipping so um, really good value for money for the gauge of steel the powder coating um, it's laser cut. It's it's beautiful. It's a really nice piece of kit. So for 125 bucks to protect your uh, your crank, basically your lower end of the engine, um, that's huge. It doesn't take much to uh, bust through this. If you hit a big rock off road, um, you can puncture this and crack it really quite easily. So all off road bikes, dual sport bikes, you know, highly recommend you add. Uh, a crash plate to the underside here so um, before I put it on I'm going to clean up this area uh, and then install it so two bolts under here one bolt in the front tighten it all up and we're done doesn't get much easier than that 530 seconds or a 12 millimeter um, to undo this so this is where your supplied L bracket is going to go so you're going to get this completely out and undone or I should say as this is the world's greatest training bike the best learn to ride motorcycle in the world bar none I'm sorry I'm biased I own it and I've trained hundreds of new riders on different bikes and this is by far my favorite um, it just fits almost anybody and it is just super easy to ride 
and learn to ride on. All right, so pull that one out, uh, the nut on the back side there, and then uh, take your bracket, that's gonna come on the inside facing forward, and then put your bolt back in. And thread locker. I would highly recommend a drop or two of thread locker, which I'm gonna run and get. All right, so this is the uh, high strength red. So I'm gonna use that. Get a drag. Here we go. Get that lined up and in on the bolt. I'm always quite careful to use my fingers first. I've got a much better sense of if it's going in smoothly. All right, good. All right, so that's on as far as I can go with my finger. Tighten this up, but not all the way. You want it to be able to move. Because there's gonna be a little bit of flex in it before you, you know, so that you can line it up with the hole on the, on the plate. You don't want to go too crazy tight and you can't move the bracket. So just enough so that it's movable. Like so. All right, good. I'm actually surprised they didn't give me a nice big washer here because that's quite a big hole. I mean, my bolt still catches. So that's then on, and now we've got to put the uh, the large ones. It says, uh, start on the left side, remove the bolt. Picture one, that was this one, we've done that. Install the steel bracket, reusing the stock bolt, we've done that. Hand tighten only, done that. Uh, attach the skid plate onto the bike by using the M8 and M10 bolts as shown in the diagram above in picture one. So the M10 bolt comes on this right side, on the left side. So it's a, a thicker. They look identical to me. I guess one is M8 and one is M10. Let me just check the nuts. No, they're both exactly the same. So I don't know. They've, they've given me two identical bolts, although they do say one is M8 and one is M10, so they lie. I don't think it matters. They are identical. Um, so yeah, the two bolts just go through under there. And the tabs on the plate go to the outside. So what that means is... Uh, the head should go from the inside out, if that makes sense. Line it up. So there's the new bolt there coming through. So I fed it through from the back from the inside with the uh, heads on the inside and the nuts gonna be there on the outside. So um, they come with lock nuts, so you don't need to worry about putting any thread locker on, on those. Um, just use the, the the lock nuts they give you. So uh, a washer on each side and then a lock nut. With the uh, bolts installed underneath, the metal bracket installed behind here, in order to get this lined up, at least on my bike, it does require pulling the whole thing over. You can see there's a little bit of movement there. And then the hole will up here, there it is. <laughs> so it's just off for the lining up. So I'm gonna have to pull it and then install the, uh, the, the threaded screw and then tighten everything up. That's why you wanna leave everything slightly uh, loose until every, all the bolts are in and then tighten it up. So, so I'm gonna pull that over like that, exposing it and then thread this in. Now, there we go, it's in. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 
nicely centered. And then put some elbow weight behind that and tighten it. Ah, there you go. That's tight. Now you can go ahead and tighten up the other four, other three bolts uh, on the frame here and then the two underneath. And you are then done, 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 done. So that's the uh, skid plate or bash plate, crash plate, whatever you want to do it from T-Rex Racing installed. Realistically with all your tools, preparation, getting it on, it's a 15 to 20 minute job and super duper easy. So enjoy, thanks for watching. As always, please ride safely. Come on alive.